you know, obviously I just said on the radio, I thought it was a really high level two o'clock Saturday college basketball game in a lot of ways. Shot making, uh, big time plays by big time players, both teams. Um, I thought that was, you know, both teams turned it over 15, 16 times. You know, I'm sure Danny would like to turn it over a little less. We would too. We had nine in the first half and uh, shored that up in the second half with six, which was much better. Points off turnover differential was basically a wash. Turnovers were a wash. The game came down to rebounding, point blank. We lost today because of Marshall's outstanding offensive rebounding effort and our poor blockouts combined together. Um, resulted in the 18 to 5 point differential on second chance points on the backboard. And when you lose by one and you give up 15 offensive rebounds like we did to, eight, to, give, to accumulate 18 points, that's a really tough row to hoe. But give our guys credit. We had some guys play a lot of minutes today. In fact, played more minutes than what I really wanted them to do. I thought our bench was not great today. Um, guys that came off need to add more value. I'm confident that they will. Um, then we had some guys step up and have to play a little bit more with Banks out. And uh, React has only practiced a couple days. <laughs> I thought I kind of went into the game planning to play him 10 to 15 minutes, and he ends up going 23 minutes. And um, so I appreciate the fight of our guys. But at the end of the day, I think we're going to watch the film and just say flat out, like, you got, we got to block out a lot better. Um, and it's not something you can just deal with in timeouts. I shared this with the guys one time. I had a great conversation with Billy Donovan. And your habits take over. Like, you know, hey, block out, fellas. Well, you might get their attention in a timeout by yelling and getting on them or emphasizing it in a positive or negative way. And they might do it because you did that for another possession or two a little bit better. But at the end of the day, over 40 minutes, your block out habits in the game are your block out habits in practice. And obviously, we've got to do a better job there. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, I thought we had pretty good looks. I thought we had pretty good looks. Go see mommy, babe. Okay. Okay. Well, then you can't talk. All right, sweetie. Is that okay? Um, I thought we had pretty good looks. Um, I thought we did. Um, we took a couple squirrely ones, and usually when it did, ironically, Elton, it led to transition, what I call jail breaks, at the other end that put real heat on us. And uh, we're still trying to figure out that balance of. You know, we take pretty good shots or a couple that are a little squirrely that cost us. When you're playing against a team that's fourth in the country in tempo and you shoot a bad shot, it's like a turnover. It is what I just said, a jailbreak to the other end. We gave them an M1. We gave them a wide open three when that happened that I can remember. So, I mean, yeah, but, you know, we could nitpick. There's plays we made that we're going to want to clean up. I'm sure when Danny watches the film, there's plays Marshall made that he's going to want to clean up. Again, at the end of the day, I don't mean to make this overly simplistic. This thing was about one thing and one thing only, and that was the backboard. Lauren Christian Jackson, 26 points today. Uh, what do you make of his performance? Career? Well, I thought he was going to have – I know how their style of play is defensively, and uh, obviously Christian's a tough cover regardless of style of play, but I felt like he could put real pressure on them through our pick-and-roll game and our dribble penetration paint game. He did exactly that. He got in the paint off pick-and-rolls and dribble penetration. Thought he made really good decisions when he got in there. Uh, he's practiced really well lately. Obviously, we got a lot of confidence in him. And I thought offensively, he played well. I thought, you know, our team shot 46% and well over 50 from two and 39 from three and 91 from the line. And, you know, I thought we did some really good things offensively. We've been trying to work over the 10 days to shore our offense up. But, you know, again, just, just disappointed in the backboard. Uh, we lost, so I'm not really worried about the stats. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get better and how uh, our team can get better. So uh, we knew coming in, coach said it, all the coaching staff said it, that I, uh, the way they guard pick and rolls and stuff, I'll get a lot of opportunities just to be aggressive. So uh, other than that, uh, I'm not really worried about how I played. We lost the game. Most of us that watch college basketball, we know what he did last year against Wichita State 
in the NCAA tournament and also against West Virginia, but it seemed like when they needed a big basket and a big play, he was the guy to go to. He, he made a couple big ones, obviously, for them. You know, Christian and some of our other guys, Dan, made some, just recollecting the end of the game there, the last four or five minutes, made big plays for us. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, our goal, Burks and Elmore, tough covers. But if you'd have told me going in the game they'd score 32 points on 35 shots, you know, Christian would tell you, like, we're, we're, we're cool with that. You know, we, we know how good they are. They're going to get shot attempts up. We wanted to make them high volume. We were able to do that. Uh, that part we got done. We got a lot of really good things done today. We really did. Offensively, we're, that's the best we've played in some junctures. Defensively, we executed our game plan except for one thing, the rebounding. We just got beat up on the backboard, and that was the difference in the game. We've got to... We've got to sure that up and be better blocking out uh, and making sure that we don't get beat up for second chance points like that. Lauren, is that, uh, I know you said it's, it's only statistics and you wanted to win more than anything, but the way your style of play, of going inside like that, is that has, always, has that always been your trademark of uh, that you're on the court to, to penetrate and, try and, and get inside and get those, get those shots to, as well? Uh, yeah, ever since I was young, I've always been the smallest guy on the court, so uh, I've been able to uh, learn certain tricks and certain things from uh, from being the smallest guy and just from other players just taking uh, little pages out of their book. Uh, so that's been that's been my style of play all my life, so that's pretty much. I will say on Elmore and Burks, those guys are seniors, and I got a lot of respect for those guys, what they accomplished last year their careers, watching them on film going into last year's game, watching them on film this year. Those guys play hard. They compete. They try to play the right way. I've got a lot of respect, certainly for their team, but those two guys I thought were, you know, just in watching them, there's a reason why they're you know, on, on list as, you know, the best guard combinations in the, in the country. Some, you know, there's a reason for that. And those two are seniors, and uh, I've got great respect for both those guys and the way that they play the game.